Hi, I am Ian from the Czech Republic. This is a very old garden and a printer Canon selfie CP1500. In this video, I am going to find out how good or bad it is, but also if it really makes sense to use that type of printers, which are primarily designed to work with cell phones. Let's go to the garden party. Before we start, just a very important detail. Yes, you will probably use this printer most of your time with a cell phone. But at the same time, it's very easy to use it in an additional way, just to use with your SD card and uh, use it as a very traditional printer. So no cell phone is necessary. If we look towards it, there are basically just three main regions when it's really useful. Uh, well, the first reason you might like it is that it's really small. If you see those pictures, you can see how small it is compared to <laughs> hands of my wife or the cell phone on the table. Uh, the second reason uh, is that it's extremely easy to connect it. And my, my kids really loved it. They just took their cell phones and uh, by showing that QR code, they were able to connect it, not just one kit, but as many kits as you want. You just scan the QR code and the printer is connected. Just try it and <laughs> you'll be really amazed how great thing that would be on a party you would be organizing. The third reason is a really amazing application. Well, traditionally, <laughs> photographic applications used to be quite boring and not really properly working. But in that case, it works just great. You can see you can produce, uh, well, postcards like this, uh, like with the pictures from my trip uh, to Serbia and Bosnia in the summer. Or you can use it for your business. Um, uh, I am doing a lot of uh, photo trainings and uh, by a couple of clicks you can just uh, enter that small QR code and send people to your website. So uh, I believe that is another quite important way of using it. If we now sum up the key details, uh, you can see it's very, very small, as I mentioned. The dimension is 13 to 18 centimeters, uh, which uh, basically <laughs> makes the, the printer quite easily packable and you can just uh, carry it in your small bag or uh, whenever you might like. Well, obviously, the, the limit would be that the size of the picture you're able to print would be only maximum uh, 10 to 15 centimeters, but still, I think it's really enough. And obviously, if we just study the quality, I was really, really, really surprised how good it is. Maybe just a couple of more details about uh, how it works. When you buy the printer, you'll need to buy also a set of papers and cartridges, as you can see here. It's really, really very easy to operate it. You basically can watch uh, my daughter, which really liked it. You just take, uh, well, the inks, you just plug them into the, the, the main body of the printer and you're basically set. Here is a tray for the papers. Just do not uh, be surprised. They are somehow bigger than the size you would be expecting. It's the um, uh, borders can be then peeled off, just broken away. You'll see it soon and you're set. Maybe let's have a look in more details how you can operate the application. Uh, we mentioned it's very, very easy to connect it. You just scan uh, the QR code with your mobile, your cell phone and you're set. And you can print and print <laughs> and enjoy the garden party like we did here. Right, so you connected uh, your cell phone to the printer and uh, let's see how it really works. Well, <laughs> I have to admit I was skeptical a little bit about the app as such because, um, as I mentioned uh, in the past, it did not really work much. But I was really surprised how nice uh, possibilities you have here. As you can see, you have a couple of options. Um, we'll discuss it later a little bit, but if we try now the most important one, it means the one for the printing. You can just select the paper, the size, and then here is the quite important thing when you have to decide which source will you be using. And it's quite important because uh, you can see that uh, you can connect easily Instagram. You can uh, go to your Google Photos uh, and find out a photo to print, which is really important because that printer should not be defined as only a printer which is willing and <laughs> able to print photos made 
by cell phone. No, you can always uh, connect many other sources. But let's try with a very traditional way of uh, using <laughs> my photos from my Instagram account. You can see it here. So let's try this one. So here on the right side, you can do some very basic adjustments like changing the color of the border or uh, any other things you might like to want to try. Well, <laughs> you can, for instance, add a date to your print, which I don't know why should I do it. Or you can play with filters, which again, I find quite boring, but you might like it. Anyway, uh, there are some details which might be interesting for small companies. Um, as I mentioned, you can easily uh, place a QR code with coded uh, address of your website. So, well, in a couple of seconds, you might have a small flyer you can distribute and uh, have your clients to connect with you. So this is one of the key principles, uh, how it works. And uh, if you just touch the print, it's uh, quite important to know that you have to push it and you'll see some basic adjustments, which again are quite easy to grasp. Uh, but do not forget that uh, apart from the printing as such, uh, there are some more options. What I really liked is that you can create some really nice combined layout. Uh, uh, let's try it. Let's select uh, four photos, uh, which I made uh, during my trip to Serbia and Bosnia in the summer. Okay, maybe we can rotate this mosque in Sarajevo a little bit. Yes, that would work. And look at this. I, I think it's quite amazing. And uh, then you just send it to the printer. And again, within a couple of seconds, you have a nice thing to share with your friends. Also, you have a quite uh, interesting way how to combine more photos than four. Uh, well, let's try it. Uh, now I've just selected a couple of prints and just by pushing a small button, it suggested uh, which layout might I like. And I really did. It's quite amazing. And again, <laughs> generally speaking, I do not like that sort of adjustment, but it just works really, really well. And then you just print and print and print. And at the end, you can, as uh, we mentioned, just very easily remove the edges of the print. So then we have only the, the proper size 10 to 15 centimeters. The printing as such uh, takes only 41 seconds and the Canon claims that the photo should be able to survive 100 years. Well, <laughs> I did not test this, but I can tell you that I was really surprised. I did not expect much from uh, such a small and cheap toy. But as you can see from uh, these examples, the results are really nice. So I think that uh, that printer might have two lives. Uh, one would be <laughs> a great item for a party we have in our garden because it's so easy to connect uh, many cell phones or it uh, this printer can easily be quite interesting family printer which does not need much space anyway i do hope you enjoyed the video i hope you'll have a nice prints and i'm sending you greetings from prague czech republic see you jan